uh, uh, good afternoon, Jim. It's Bart here, uh, from uh, coming from e remote from downtown Toronto, uh, transmitting from Meaford, Ontario, via remote. And I'm mobile right now, and I'm using uh, uh, my remote uh, client software, which is the RC Forb. Uh, it's a free open source software, um, and I just wanted to see how it's sounding. Is it sounding legible for you to copy? Back to you. Uh, Roger Bart, sounding legible, but a lot of low frequency air movement sounds. Uh, you know, you might want to um, roll some of that bottom end uh, uh, because of the uh, environment that you're in. Roger? Uh, Roger, Roger, yes. Uh, I am on the uh, Bluetooth in the, in, the, uh, in the car right now, perhaps, uh, and it's picking up probably a lot of the road noise as well and the low frequencies of uh, the cabin. Uh, so I would have to play with the EQ on the, uh, on the 7300 back at home. Uh, so it would be probably one setting for the remote and another setting uh, for the actual microphone inside the radio shack. Uh, back to you, Jim. Roger, Roger, Bart. I, I just personally think that uh, in a mobile, uh, you want to um, get the tight mic as, as best as possible, you know, and I think Bluetooth may put put you off uh, contact with that mic too much that uh, the ambient noise uh, gets in there uh, with you a lot worse than if you were just using a regular mic and had it right up to your, your lips. Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. I just switched to the microphone of the uh, of the cell phone. I don't know if that uh, makes any of uh, much of a difference. All right, I'm catching uh, your noise level is a, a minus four. Uh, I have you set at the zero level, and so your background is you only have a three dB ahead of your background noise, Roger. Okay, so uh, even speaking on the phone instead of the Bluetooth, uh, there's uh, very little difference, is that correct? Yes, yeah, so that when you're exactly uh, 3 dB above your noise level, and it's all low frequency stuff, you know, it's like uh, uh, 100, uh, 150 uh, uh, cycles, somewhere in there, Roger. Okay, Roger, Jim. Well, thank you very much for the input, and uh, we'll have to play with the EQ uh, as well, and perhaps get another uh, microphone for the uh, uh, for the remote uh, as well. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, thank you so much, Jim. Um, KC9 VKZ. This is VE3XBO mobile remote. Roger, Bart. Uh, just a question: uh, Do you have control over your uh, your compression settings at the moment? I am driving as we speak, so it's very hard to, uh, to uh, try to adjust controls. Uh, as, uh, I am in a, uh, a stop and go traffic on the uh, on one of the freeways right now, uh, but uh, um, I have the compression set at three out of ten, Roger. Uh, Roger, I would uh, I would dump the compressor. I would try and just dump the compressor in your mobile because uh, there is so much ambience just waiting in the wings to grab a hold of your audio that uh, the compressor just uh, uh, begs uh, them to uh, to grab a hold. You know, yeah. So you, I think you might be better off uh, just uh, straight ahead without the compressor in the mobile, Roger. I mean, make sure your your audio level is uh, AOC wise is uh, 50. You know, mid range to uh, two-thirds, but uh, I would, uh, you know, try it without the compressor, maybe, you know. Uh, Roger, Roger. I was able to uh, switch off the compressor right now, so this is without any compression. Back to you. All right, now, uh, <laughs> I think you might have uh, went lower on your ALC when you dumped the uh, compressor. So, uh, you know, you just uh, when you get to a place where you can uh, uh, work on it just for a second, you know, I would uh, go without the compressor and uh, bring the uh, audio level up uh, on the uh, ALC to your running mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Roger, Roger, Jim. Okay, will do. Uh, thanks uh, a lot for the input. Roger, now uh, try that again. That, that looked pretty good. Uh, give me uh, a little dissertation about your uh, radio that you're running. Are you talking about the remote radio? 
Yeah, uh, and unfortunately, Bart, the uh, conditions just uh, shifted, uh, so uh, I guess I'm, I'm losing you. But it, it, I thought there for a moment uh, you were you were way ahead of your noise level, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, the, the working conditions back on the uh, uh, station is the ICOM 7300 with a G5 RV running. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it's not the 7300. I'm actually uh, running on the ICOM 7100 with a G5 RV antenna running 100 watts. Roger. Roger. Now your mobile was that time you were uh, 7 to 8 dB above your noise level. That was great. Uh, you did not have uh, your uh, background noise, uh, uh, you know, trying to get in there. You were a good 7 dB above your noise level. That's great. Okay, uh, so I have the compression right now at uh, uh, just uh, 1, basically a 1 out of 10. Uh, so uh, maybe about to increase my ALC automatically. Uh, so that's, uh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, Roger Bart, yes, uh, and you're. Uh, I think you're a lot better at that at that uh, settings. I think those will work well for you. Uh, it, you know, when you get a uh, background noise uh, and you're only three dB above it, uh, it's like you're you're uh, <laughs> something's chasing you, and it's hard to hear your your audio cleanly. But uh, now that it's uh, you're seven dB above your background noise, uh, I think that's uh, just uh, great, Roger. And you can you can listen to the playback, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I'll be looking forward to your uh, YouTube posting uh, to see uh, uh, how it all sounded uh, uh, this time around. Roger. Now, you might be just a little hot into your ALC. Uh, you had a little, just a tad, tad distortion, but uh, sounding a lot better, I think. Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger. No problem. Uh, thank you so much, Jim, and look forward to your video. Roger, roger, sir. And uh, three's that way. And uh, uh, stay warm and uh, watch the traffic. <laughs> this is KC9 VKV and the QSO Vlog Network. And today and for the next few weeks, we'll be conducting a sidewalk survey, an AB receiver test between our normal modified Yaesu FT990 and a newer digitally influenced ICOM 7300. There will be a few anomalies during the test. Our 990 receiver will be running a resonant dipole with zero reflected wave. And the 7300 will be running a two cofase 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. All transmissions will be from our regular Yezu FT990. This is KC9VKV, and if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout.